It's the last, <coughs> last bell for King. Mm, I'm sure, isn't it? The touch of the jack by an inch could give him a couple of shots, but by the same token, if he turned the green bowler, cheese played this well. What a magnificent shot! To win any championship, a bowler has to be very, very good. To win jack high, he has to be the best of the best, which is why at this level, the margin between victory and defeat is extremely fine most times. It's understandable then that the two men you're about to see in the jack high playoff can count themselves unlucky not to have made it to the final. David Corkill came out of Belfast determined to reverse his failures of last year. He did so with style and grit to win two of three round robin matches only to stumble in the semi-final. The reasons for his improved showing probably had much to do with his experience in the Cauldron of Commonwealth Games competition and a regime of running and weightlifting. Bob King, on the other hand, was little changed from last year. Still the master of draw shot bowls, he accounted for Bellis and Hughes, but lost to Wood in his semi-final. In this contest, King and Corkill are playing for the bronze medallion that goes with third spot in Jack High. The first end of the match was quiet enough with King taking a single and we pick it up on the second. In commentary are Cedric Smith and Ian Cleland. Pace of the green, 14 seconds at Bamorris, prepared by Cole Harvey and it's been a magnificent green for the whole of the Jack Hyde tournament and obviously Bob King appreciates it. He's a master draw shot. This youngster from Ireland is not far behind in his ability at drawing to the jack. I think we're going to see an exhibition of top-class draw shots from both of these players. King probably a little unlucky not to be in the final. Still, that's bowls. Lovely weight. Doubt very much whether he's made the second. Corkill doesn't need very much, if any, correction on his uh, first, just uh, six or eight inches less in pace would get him the shot. Mm, he just fell out. So we'll find out because the position's been asked for. <coughs> Holding two shots. Mm. Corkill's are just uh, about three or four inches too far back. Eight inches. It's three shots then to Bob King. To make a trail shot here by Walkhill to give him another great change of sh shots here if he can just trail it. No need, he's drawn the shot. thinking of coming on to his own short bowl with a weight well he's got the weight but missing everything <laughs> well with that weight I think he would have killed the end Ian yes unless he had a ricochet off the actual shot bowl this is Corkill's last bowl on this end he's lying the shot He's going very wide indeed. I don't think he wants to disturb the head. <laughs> He's quite content to have that one solitary shot there. But nevertheless, he levels the scores. After two ends, one each. End number three. Corkill having rolled the jack to a distance of about 30 yards.
first bowl finishing about a yard short. Weighted bowl here by King. Just behind. Come in now. Draw the shot. Coming inside it. Stopping. Well bowed. Backhand is Corkill. Fraction too wide. He's come to a good spot. <coughs> Holding one shot. King will be underneath it. I think that's the first time he's played on the forehand away from the clubhouse. And it's a pretty poor one. This will be Corkill's last bowl on this end. One down. He's giving it a chance. He's got a little bit of weight on it. Oh, superb bowling. for him, he tipped that back bowl of uh, <coughs> King's over. One down. But King is still one down. That bowl at one o'clock, half past one, is the shot bowl. King will play the forehand again. He wouldn't need to trip that in. Oh, he's turned it away beautifully. Did he make two shots? Yes, that bowl that Corkill turned over. Three one. Has made two shots to King, so he leads by three shots to one. So King leading three to one. Oh, this is a good start. Beautiful bowl. Five or six inches from the jack. He said before the game started, this was going to be a shot of draw shots to the perfection that uh, both of them can do. What a magnificent try from Corker. Holding shot. port there for Corkhill. A little trail of the jack by two or three inches would make two shots. But it's got to be very well played. He's gone wide. It's moving in. Is his weight there for it? He's just going to make it, I think. No. Up or down, we'll Holding go. one shot. King holds the shot. Mm. For 
safety's sake, a change of hand now by Bob King. Frightened that he could hit on his opponent's bowl and come round nicely to the back. Corkill delivering his third bowl, undoubtedly just trying to tap his own bowl up for shot. The green disc one, just give it a tap. He misses and goes right through. Holding one. Cedric, six bowls within 15 inches of the jack. Brilliant bowling. As you said, Ian, this is going to be a draw shot game. Many spectators are going to see an excellent exhibition between these two. And here comes another very good bowl. Falling in. One down. Still only one down. So Corkill, his final attempt just to try and tap his own short bowl on. It doesn't need to go more than an inch and he'd get the shot. Time. No, he's just a shade wide. Well, look at those. Eight bowls there, all within about two feet of the jack. Served applause to both men, and the result of that end, it looks like one shot to Bob King. end and we heard Bob King say get up get up and indeed he is we see there two yards short nearly and for the first time in this match because of that short bowl from Bob King going down to the clubhouse Corkill playing a backhand draw his own bowl is he no making contact just promoting it a bit but uh, not sufficient for him to get the shot yeah, as we said this last bowl from Corker was the first time he played on the backhand he was shade narrow when it finished so he should take a shade more green with this bowl he hasn't an eight one is too short as well look at that <coughs> third changing his hand a lot of bowls in the way on the forehand and an open draw on the backhand as we see there finishing two yards short <coughs> yes holding one brilliant bowling we've seen in the first four ends they have gone uh, slightly askew on this end there's nothing now within about two and a half feet of the jack and this is Bob King's final bowl and at last the correction finishing Jack Hart shot from the Irishman trying to beat his opponent but once again he's short 
and it looks like one shot therefore to Bob King. Having won four of the first five ends, King has gone out to a little handy break of five to one early in the game with bowls like this. He's a magician, this fellow from Bomaderry. <coughs> Half a bowl short of Jack High. Which is a club a little bit south of Wollongong in New South Wales. And his uh, exhibition right throughout the whole of this series, the fourth Mazda International Jack High has been absolutely superb. Not enough to beat Willie Wood in the <coughs> position of getting into the final, but still a fine player. Coming around the back, that won't do any harm there. Corkhorn's looking for, as well as a couple of feet, a little bit of green. But he's under again, I think. Found a little bit of weight, but certainly not enough. When I say a little bit, he probably found about four or five inches. But he's still 18 or 20 inches short of the jack. King can afford to take off a, a yard on his last bowl. And he's doing it. Oh, isn't he magic? Isn't he magic? He certainly is, Ian. He's found touch right from the word go. In this match against this man, David Corkill, who at the moment is struggling. He hasn't been too consistent. No doubt he's taking a little time to settle down, but he mustn't let his opponent get too far away from him. Now we see him just a shade too wide. He had good weight. Final bowl on this end from Mr. Robert King. Oh dear, another brilliant bowl. He's unbelievable, this fellow. David Corkill's last chance. Three down on this end. Coming down with a little weight, hoping to come into this head and open something up. And he trails the deck. Great recovery shot there from Corkill, from three down to one up, and he now advances to two. Matt back on the six-foot mark, and the jack about 30 yards ahead. So the length having been rolled by David Corkill to those of Bob King, so there's no tactics coming into this match at the moment. Short there. King, whenever he can, playing the same side of the green, coming down this way on his forehand to the clubhouse, even though that bowl looks to be in his way. He was hoping to pass it, but as we see there, finishing four feet short. Well, at least he's human. Yes, I was thinking in a 21-up game against Bob King, the way he's playing, you know, I think we might need a start of 19 and then we might not win. <laughs> good bowl here from Corkill. Two good shots there. extra weight. Mm. No, no correction at all there from Bob King. Well, that is surprising. Corkell has a golden opportunity to make three shots. He's got good green. 
He's got good weight. Could be better than the previous two. Oh, beautiful bowling from Corkill. King sizing up the position. A little bit of an upshot coming here. He's three down. And he's onto his forehand. Too wide. Big chance for Corkill to get four. Although remember, King's still got another bowl. This is the fourth shot coming up. Grass is good. Weight looks good. Well, it's good enough to make four shots, I feel. Now, has King committed himself to another drive or is he going to try and draw and save? Because I think he could beat that last ball pretty comfortably. What do you think? Looks like a drive again. He's got a contact. No, he's playing safety. But he's got a draw. He's got better weight than his previous short bowls. Is he inside that one? That's cut one out. Is he going to cut more out? Oh, I don't know. Two, <coughs> four, five. So it's only two. And Corkill goes to four. King is five. bit longer end than what we've been used to. Corkill has put the mat well back. It's a long end, well over 30 to 31 yards, but he's left this best part of six, six feet, maybe seven feet short. had a lapse on the last end. He's got the shot but he's at least a couple of feet short. David should have the weight to get the shot. I don't know. Just didn't finish on like he wanted it to. Leaves it pretty clear for uh, Bob King to draw through that port just past his own. And inside Cork Hills. He's onto his own, past it, and that is definitely a shot and could now have made two, having turned his own over. Two short bowls of his opponents blocking him to continue on his backhand. Corkill has no alternative but to come down now on the more open forehand and try and beat those two blue and white disc bowls, which he does superbly. <laughs> the recovery shot there by David Corkill. That's right. Uh, made Bobby King think but electing to continue on his backhand he's got one or two chances maybe looking to take that jack into the ditch or the green disc bowl of Corkill he's got the green disc bowl of Corkill beautiful drive that one Corkill now need to try and put it back again. He's heavy. If he gets the jack, he can trail it. And he does. <laughs> Maybe two shots. Gonna be two down, Martin. Two down? Yes it is.
Bob King has his last attempt now on this end. He's come closer to the jack than the second shot of Corkhills, which is a yard away. He's got to pass the bowl, but he's not doing so. He's coming inside. May he get it on length to save? He looks to be running away. I think it's two to Corkhill there. Two. Six, five. It is two to Corkhill, and for the first time in the match, he takes the lead. Six shots to five. <coughs> Start of end number nine as David Corkhill's first bowl on its way on the forehand. Once again, to a little longer jack than we've been having, around 30 yards. He's found good weight with this one. Jack hide pretty well. Well, that may have been the shot, but it fell out. I wouldn't like to judge who's the shot there. The player's not concerned at the moment. This might settle the issue. It has! in for second. I think you'll agree, Ian, that Corkill is now beginning to find his touch, as we've seen by those first two bowls on oh, this end. my word, he is. Oh, he's a good bowl. There's no doubt in the world about that. Yes, Corkill is a very much improved bowler on his performance in Jack High last year. And... Uh, point of view of anybody that's uh, in the vintage of bowls. It's ridiculous that a man with this much ability is only 23. And look at that. Bowls like that. Back down. in the future, he's got in bowls in the next 20 years. Could be anything. King goes to the backhand and he needs a little bit of weight. He's got it. How about his direction? On to his own. This could fall in, you know. Oh! Could have got second shot. Right, so. David Corkill sees the funny side of it. Because I, I don't think it was a, a brilliantly placed bowl by King, but got a result. One down. Need to be a mighty shot of Kings to retrieve the position, being one down. He's under it. I don't think he can do any damage. And you'll find it is one more to Corkill. He now leads seven to five. Corkill's got a lead of two shots. He trailed one five, but now leads seven five. Last four ends, he scored two twos and two ones. He's gone around behind the head by three, maybe three and a half feet. That would normally be plenty of room for King to draw the shot. As you can see, he's under it and he's left that in the vicinity of four to four and a half feet short.
Caulfield's gone to the forehand. Is he around that bowl? Oh, he's got a little whip off it, which is very, very handy. Finished up only a little bit behind Jack High, but it's shot. He's probably holding two, although the second one is a long way away. And King looking for a good yard on his first. You're not going to find all that much. But it's enough to make a second shot, so on this end so far, Corkill is holding one shot. A little bit of vitamin C. It's a pretty warm day here at Bumaris today. We're up into the high 20s. Very little breeze. And uh, I think it'll be pretty warm out in that green before they're finished. And there's Corkill's next bowl coming down holding one shot, a trail of the jack wouldn't do him any harm at all, he's just passed it and he's still holding one shot with a possibility of two but I think it's only one One down on the head, but with this bowl, the Corkill's delivered, he could just trail that jack. No more than 18 inches, he could pick up four shots. He could pick up four shots. Oh, it's cutting too quick and it's promoted a bonus bowl. So he's now two down. to his backhand must not trail that jack he's got to draw as close as he can to it if he wants to pick up another shot he's got to stop soon he's got to stop soon he's falling back it may be three three makes eight seven three it is so king regains the lead once more goes to a total of eight. First time for four ends that uh, King has had the opportunity to roll the jack and what well, is considerably shorter than the ones that uh, his opponent, Peter Corkill, has been enjoying, uh, David Corkill has been enjoying. <laughs> Only about 27 yards and that's a good One start. One full ball short of jack height. that bit too quickly and not reaching and that short bowl of Corkills has forced Bobby King now to come on the backhand breeze here at all to affect the running of these bowls so it's just a question of just taking a shade more green which Corkill seems to have done all oh, but misses left the way open for Bob King to draw another shot and of course you just can't leave doors open for King put that bowl a superb bowl from King and now Corkill's under a heap of trouble because that last bowl of his went by by some feet and he needs to draw closer Got a bit of weight. <coughs> Giving it a big chance to run in. Keep coming if you want it. Oh. I don't know. 
or down, <coughs> up or down will do, I think. Holding one shot. Yeah, which is the shot bowling, please? Front one. Front one. Yeah. <laughs> Self explanatory from the marker, Arnold O'Brien. Last, <coughs> last bell for King. Mm, the touch of the jack by an inch could give him a couple of shots, but by the same token, if he turned the green bowler, she's played this well. What a magnificent shot! shot of Kings is this one that will live in your memory. Let's see what happens here. Oh. We'll have to wait to see if it's three or four. I fancy four. on this Ian, I wonder if it might have been more as advisable for Corkhill to have drawn on his forehand. It was open for him. Four, twelve, seven. After the, in hindsight, yes. Four shots to He leads twelve to seven. led 5-1, then he trailed 5-7, but for that magnificent shot, this is the last inning, now leads 12 shots to 7, and he started off like that. Looks to be a little under here. that shot of Kings in the last end, it's got to be one of the shots of the series without a doubt, it was just so magnificently played. Crookhill's a little under again. Left it short by some 18 inches and uh, King is bowling in just superb touch. from King, three shots. Corkill having another running shot at this, trying to disturb the head. He's got something this time. No bowls run away. He's got room to move with his next. King's solitary shot, at least three feet from the jack. going to make it two. Let's see a 
draw shot here from Corkill. What I feel he should have done on the last end when he was four down. He should have drawn to save. Is he drawing to save or is he running through? Oh, he's too heavy. Another two shots down here, I think. Two, fourteen, seven. It is two. So King advancing well now towards the target of 21. He's two thirds of the way there now on 14. Corkhill remaining on seven. Familiar length of Jack when King has the opportunity to roll it. About 28 yards. And here he's finishing about a yard behind. No more. Running on. Just going that shade too far. Good away to bowl here from King. That won't be many inches away. and draw shot. And this is better. Second shot. Yeah. <coughs> Holding up. one shot. <laughs> Nine shots in the last three ends to King. You go to a commanding lead of 14 to 7. To a good spot to split those two green disc bowls belonging to Corkill, as well as holding the shot. White fraction too wide. King's last bow. Get up there. Beautiful grass. King is trying to ride it out. I don't know whether he made second shot. Run it out, David. Come on. No, he's left it short. Two. Sixteen to seven. And two it is. Sixteen to seven is the lead that King has, having scored eleven on the last four ends. little short. About two and a half feet. He's short as well. Seems to have lost a little bit of his rhythm, David Corkin, in the last four or five in century. Yes. I thought he'd regained his composure when he's won four ends on the trot between six and six to nine. But then all of a sudden he's lost it. And uh, this man is really piling on the pressure. Certainly 
does things like that, but he hasn't come to any harm. He still holds one. Now, David Corkhill has got to find about two and a half feet for this bowl to get the shot. That's better. Just behind. At least the advantage is now his. Doesn't have it for long. King gets the shot back again. And after that shot, bold of Kings. But he's in the pack. Oh, he's knocked his own back. And there, tragedy comes to the Irishman. Well be three down. And that's the shot. could be four down so this bowl has got to draw to save playing down on the forehand which is the easier of the two in order to draw steady always oh, too heavy finishing some two and a half yards behind now then could it be a mother maximum four to Bob King It is. Seven. Four shots to King and now he's only one from victory. The start of the 15th end and how this game has changed in the last five. Corkill leading by seven shots to five completion of the ninth end and then King by scoring a three, a four, two twos and then another maximum four to lead 20 shots to seven is only one from victory and that one he's lying at the moment King's bowl there just ahead closer to the jack than the cork hills. Coming behind and well positioned bowl that is, not much more than three feet behind. A big improvement on this bowl from David. King holding game. Is he here? Yes he is! Good boy! bit of room for Corkill to draw the shot. He's got every bit of four feet. And he's drawn. Well done. Last bowl on the end for King. Will he try and remove the shot bow? 
Yes, he's trying to do it. It was a mile away. Well, by King standards. <laughs> Big chance for David to pick up a couple of shots. He's gone out nice and wide. Now he's got to come inside and finish inside. Oh, he's not going to reach. What a shame. But nevertheless, it's, I think it's only one. King will remain on 20. And Cork Hill will go to eight. David Corkhill's little mascot has been presented to him by one of the members of the large gallery here. Not doing him much good at the moment, that little mascot. <laughs> he trails eight to twenty. Oh, he's changed the pattern of things here. As you can see, it's about two to two and a half feet short of almost a full length jack. So we're looking at about a 34 and a half, 35 yard mat. And that's not a bad start. About 20 inches away. Lovely length. to reach. He's left that almost three feet. Corkell's weight was good with his first bowl, just a little bit of correction needed on his green. Not too much mind you, get underneath it. He has, so he's made another shot. Let us see if King can find that two feet or so that he needs for shot. He's underneath it as well. By oh, gee, that could nearly be shot. Oh, it fell out. We'll soon know. Close, but I favour yours. That would make Cork a little happier, I feel. Steady, David. Oh, you your opponent in. Thanks to that bad ball from Corkhill, King is now lying game. Another bowl here from King and he's putting in a back one just in case he's back line two. David Corkhill has got to do something with this ball. Feet staring him in the face. King lying the game. Well, I wouldn't like to say. All depends on the marker. Advice to Bob King. If he says the King is one shot, game's over. Holding shot. He is. The game is all over. 